This week on Inside Boulder News. The city celebrates the 50th anniversary of a wild idea. Election season is almost at its end. Make your voice be heard. And a popular city pool gets a facelift. Find out what upgrades were made. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, your chance to share your stories, get involved, and keep up to date on all things Boulder. I'm Jocelyn Avendaño. November 7th will mark 50 years since Boulder residents decided to pass the nation's first open space sales tax. This historic and innovative measure helped the city create today's 45,000 acres of open space and mountain park system. Boulder's open space has a long history. The city of Boulder's legacy of open space conservation actually dates back to 1898. Through the years, residents realized the need to preserve quality of life, which meant preserving the open space area. Citizens actually passed what they called the Blue Line in 1959, and that essentially stopped development above an uh, elevation of 5,700 feet or about there. And then in 63, citizens got together to help protect uh, Enchanted Mesa. But it wasn't until 1967 that residents came up with a wild idea. They actually proposed an open space tax and then worked with the city to help create a tax that had the nation's first open space sales tax that was also paired with the transportation tax. For every dollar spent in Boulder, one cent would go to the open space tax. That cent was divided into 0.4 cents for OSMP and 0.6 cents for transportation, a step that turned out incredibly innovative. With that uh, measure, we've been able to acquire over 45,000 acres of open space, protect incredible wildlife habitats. It's also allowed us to build a 151-mile trail system. Um, at the same time, it's uh, the transportation side of that tax has allowed us to really make some improvements in the city of Boulder for transportation and mobility. And on November 7th, the city of Boulder will celebrate that legacy. The way Boulder is today has really been shaped by the work that these incredible folks did to, uh, to put this measure forward. And the community is invited to come out and celebrate at the Boulder Theater. We're going to be having a community celebration on November 7th at the Boulder Theater from 5.30 to 10 p.m. The first hour is going to be a kids concert, uh, but then after that we're going to have some celebrations. We're going to have a photo booth, we're going to have a slideshow, music from the decades, and so it's a real community celebration to really celebrate Boulder and the again the incredible legacy that folks 50 years ago left us. For more information on the event, please visit boulderswildidea.org. The North Boulder Rec Center pool has been closed since the facility's annual maintenance closure in late August. Although the outdoor pool season is over, it's never too late to dip into the Rec Center's indoor pool, which reopens this week. The pool at the North Boulder Rec Center is for those looking to train like a pro athlete or for those learning to swim for the first time. Recently, the center's leisure pool area received a facelift. So we have some new features here. Um, we have some slides and some interactive features going on here. We just we realized that we needed to get an upgrade and um, have some fun new features to offer our community. The last remodel of the pool was back in 2002. Besides new interactive water features and a decked out water play area, the pool will also be more energy efficient and will include improved sanitation. On the pump room side, we have UV. So UV is a secondary sanitation that um, kills microorganisms. Micro so anything that passes through our system is going to be killed. That way we can lower our chlorine a little bit um, and have this secondary system so we can focus on a little bit more healthy environment when you come to our pools. But that's not all. We got uh, uh, moisture mitigation in our walls now. We have a, a foam spray into our walls, a new roof, and uh, new flooring. The Rec Center pool is up and running. You can check it out anytime during the Rec Center's operating hours. Mark your calendars and come check it out for free. So we're going to have a free day to come visit the North Boulder Recreation Center and check out our new pool. It'll be really kid friendly, uh, November 18th. So come bring the kids, come check out the Rec Center, and most definitely come check out the new pool features. With resumes in hand, job seekers in Boulder attended the first annual Boulder Job Fair an event organized by the Boulder Chamber and the city. We really want to make sure that you can live and work in Boulder at the same time. There are people who are low-wage workers, there are uh, single parents, there are lots of people looking for jobs, and we knew bringing them together is part of our strategy. A strategy that turned out to be successful. Within the first five minutes of the event, 
over 150 job prospects had already walked through the doors. So this being the inaugural event, we really wanted to make sure that we were reaching the most residents we possibly could. So we worked in both print and digital. The thing that's very interesting, the, the data we've seen, is that that face-to-face -face is actually more useful than the anonymous online. An estimated 1,000 people went to the event. People received resume critiques, attended workshops, and connected with more than 30 employers in attendance. We have such a range of employers. We have employers ranging from telecommunications to nonprofits and everything in between. There are jobs here um, for people 55 plus. There are jobs here for people who are 18 years old. If you weren't able to attend the job for this week, you can still check out employer job listings at the City of Boulder's website. Visit bouldercolorado.gov forward slash job fair. There are a number of local ballot measures that were presented to voters this election season, plus a total of 14 council candidates looking to fill up five open seat positions in the council. Ultimately, the decision will be left up to voters this November 7th. Registered voters should have already received their ballot in the mail. The last day to return your mail-in ballot or be in line at a voter service center is on November 7th by 7 p.m. And for those who have yet to register, can still register up to the day of the election, but must vote in person. For a full list of voting locations, please visit the website seen on screen. And for general municipal election information, please visit bouldercolorado.gov forward slash elections. We will update you on city election results on next week's edition of Inside Boulder News, or you can check out the county website after polls close. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's edition of Inside Boulder News. If you have pictures, news tips, or events you'd like to see featured, we'd love to hear from you. Connect with us on Facebook. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe. Have a good week.